Fans across the world love to debate about who they think is the greatest of all time. The GOATs as we call them. The greatest quarterback, the greatest slugger, the greatest swimmer, the greatest boxer, and the list just goes on. In basketball, however, despite all the arguments and debates that we witness on social media, by an overwhelming majority, the greatest ever is pretty much clear-cut. One man stands apart in a league of his own, and by acclamation, is top dog in the NBA. But there are five classical positions on a basketball court. Point guard is probably the most crucial position on offense. Ball handling and distribution, passing through the lanes, and finding open spots, having a high basketball IQ and knowing player positions are just some of the requirements to being a good point guard. Jerry West, Bob Cousy, John Stockton, Steve Nash, Oscar Robertson, Gary Payton, and Isaiah Thomas are just some of the greatest point guards in the history of the game. Each of these individuals have left a mark on the game, changing the dynamic of teams and how a traditional point guard operates, grabbing more rebounds, scoring more points, winning championships and MVP awards. However, none of them influenced the game and left a legacy as enduring as one man. A phenomenon on both sides of the court, and widely regarded as the quintessential point guard in the league's history. Lakers legend and Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame member, Irvin Magic Johnson. Twenty-five years on from Magic's final season as a Laker, his legacy still endures despite some of the phenomenal players that have come through the league since. A five-time NBA champion, three-time NBA Finals MVP, three-time NBA League MVP, 12-time NBA All-Star, two-time NBA All-Star MVP, nine-time All-NBA First Team, four-time NBA Assists Leader, and two-time NBA Steals Leader, Magic scored over 17,000 points in his career, averaging 19.5 points per game, with an average of 7.2 rebounds and 11.2 assists per game. Irvin Johnson was called Magic for a reason. Magic Johnson was a guard playing in the body of a forward. Standing 6 feet 9 and weighing around 220 pounds, Magic was usually one of the tallest guys on his teams. But for a big guy, Magic could move and handle like a dream. His speed, ball handling and on-court vision made him a natural passer. Johnson was recruited by top-ranked colleges like UCLA and Indiana, but wanted to play close to home. And when Michigan State came knocking with coach Judd Heathcote offering him the point guard position on his team, Magic couldn't say no. After an impressive freshman year, Magic produced yet another set of outstanding numbers in his sophomore year. Michigan State qualified for the NCAA tournament once again, where in the championship game they met number one ranked and undefeated Indiana State who had reached the finals with a perfect 33-0 record and were led by a guy with whom Magic would lock horns during their entire professional career. Future three-time NBA champion, three-time NBA MVP and Boston Celtics legend, the great white hope, the hick from French Lick, Larry Bird. In what was the most watched college basketball game ever, Michigan State defeated Indiana State 75-64 on the back of Magic's 24 points, and Magic was voted as the most outstanding player of the Final Four. Following the season, Magic entered the 1979 NBA Draft and was drafted first overall by the Los Angeles Lakers, giving birth to the famous Showtime Lakers. On a side note, going back to the Irvin Johnson being dubbed Magic part, as a 15-year-old sophomore playing for Everett High School, Irvin Johnson recorded a triple-double scoring 36 points, grabbing 18 rebounds and dishing out 16 assists. Fred Stabley Jr., a sports writer for Lansing State Journal, dubbed him Magic after watching the game in disbelief, witnessing a 15-year-old put on a show for the ages. In his rookie NBA season, Magic joined Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and although some analysts thought he should play as a forward, coach Jack McKinney placed faith in him as his point guard. Magic delivered one of the most memorable rookie seasons in NBA history averaging 18 points, 7.7 .7 rebounds and 7.3 assists per game and was selected to the NBA All-Rookie Team and was named an NBA All-Star Game starter. The Lakers topped the Western Conference with a 60-22 record en route to the NBA Finals where they faced the Philadelphia 76ers 
led by star forward Dr. J. Julius Irving. With a 3-2 lead in the series, Jabbar would strain his ankle in Game 5 and miss Game 6. Magic started the game playing center and put on one of the greatest finals performances of all time. It's back to four. Now it's back and here's Magic inside for the layup. Send him to the free throw line. Chance for the three-point play. Third. Nine on the shot clock. Whip it inside to Magic. <laughs> There it is, it's over, and the most valuable player is Magic Johnson. 42 points, 15 rebounds, and 7 assists. He starts at center, plays forward and guard, and leads the Los Angeles Lakers to a world championship, 123-107 over Philadelphia. Magic, uh, what do you have that makes you perform like this in these championship games? Well, I don't know, it's just I love to win, and uh, I guess that's the thing. I go in thinking we can win any game that I play. Uh, hey, Mark. Despite, you know, Kareem wasn't in and we want to say, hey, we did it for you, big fella, because you got us here and uh, don't, we, we don't want to take nothing away from him. Johnson would play and produce at MVP caliber consistently throughout his career. He'd add another NBA championship and finals MVP to his resume in 1982, when the Lakers took down the 76ers once again, 4-2. And in 1985, he would add another championship to his resume, taking down historical rivals the Boston Celtics, led by Magic's longtime nemesis, Larry Bird, in a 4-2 series victory. In 1987, Magic would have arguably his greatest season ever, scoring almost 24 points per game with almost 12 assists and 6 rebounds, and he'd be named the league's MVP. The Lakers would once again go on to beat the Celtics and Larry Bird by a margin of 4-2, and Magic, for the third time in his career, would be named the finals MVP. At this point in his career, Magic by most accounts had already crossed the greatness of Jerry West and Oscar Robertson and was being hailed as the greatest point guard the league had ever seen. Magic would go on to win another championship in 1988 and then add two more league MVPs to his resume in consecutive years in 1989 and 1990. The 1990-91 season would be Magic's last season before a premature retirement owing to health complications due to an HIV infection. Magic and the Lakers would reach the NBA Finals one last time under his leadership but would get demolished by a very talented young team, led by a certain rising star whose legacy was yet to be established. On November 7, 1991, Magic Johnson retired from the NBA due to his HIV diagnosis. His announcement became a major story across all of America, and despite the stigma at the time around HIV and AIDS, Magic was lauded for his decision and dedication to spreading awareness about the disease. Despite his retirement, Johnson was voted by fans as a starter for the 1992 NBA All-Star Game, Johnson came back for one more game, leading the West to a 153-113 victory, and was named the All-Star Game MVP, scoring 25 points with 9 assists and 5 rebounds. At the 92 Barcelona Summer Olympics, Magic was chosen to compete as a part of the legendary Dream Team, alongside fellow greats like Michael Jordan, Charles Barkley and Larry Bird, where they'd go on to compile a perfect 8-0 record and take home the gold medal in emphatic fashion. In the 95-96 season, Magic came back after a four-year hiatus for one last ride as a coach player, playing 32 games in the regular season and four in the playoffs. On May 2, 1996, after a loss to the Houston Rockets, Irvin Johnson called curtains on a career that had spanned over three separate decades and delivered five championships, three league MVPs, and an Olympic gold, among other accolades. In 2002, Johnson was inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame, and in 2010, he was inducted a second time as a part of the 92 Olympic Dream Team. Much has been said and written about Magic over the years. Most of us remember Magic as the kind and humble giant who would electrify basketball arenas across the country. With a big wide smile across his face, he'd show the league why he was the best at what he did. Today at 61 years old, Johnson has led a healthy life despite his diagnosis, and plays a key role in sports teams and leagues across the country, and more so in and around Los Angeles. Magic Johnson's legacy was probably summed up best by journalist Michael Spector, when in a somewhat contentious testament to the point guard, Spector quoted, Although it may seem callous to say so, millions of Americans are lucky that Magic Johnson was infected with HIV. There is no way of calculating how many lives he has saved. No advertising agency could have invented a better or more effective role model. This man has
has a smile that lights up a television screen from here to Bangor, Maine. Showtime.